Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. Today I'll be talking about some tips and tricks for working at home. Now before jumping into it, if you're new to my channel, be sure to press that subscribe button down below. It'll make sure you get notified every single week when I post a new video. Now with everything happening in the world, this may be your first time really working from home full time. I've been pretty fortunate to have a job that allows me to work from home pretty often, so I want to show you guys some tips and tricks that have worked for me really well. Now tip number one is to have a schedule. And there are a few points I want to make that are really important for having a schedule. What I mean by this, is try your best to wake up in the morning every single day around the same time. You don't want to get your body into the mood of you're staying home like the weekend and you're just doing whatever you want all day. You still want to get your mentality into the work mode. So to do that, you have to wake up as if you're going to work in the morning early and on time. And then going off of that, you also want to make sure you get ready. So don't just stay in your PJs all day. It makes a huge difference to get into some proper work clothes, look nice, dress appropriately, and you'll see the difference in your mentality. You're not going to be bumming around all day in your PJs. You really want to look nice and you want to dress the part as if you're going to work. Now for those of you who also wear the star and turban like I do, I strongly suggest tying your normal the star as if you were going to go out of the house. House, it makes a huge difference to make you feel like you're gonna go to work it just puts you into the right mode along the same lines of having a schedule I also suggest not getting your laptop right after you get out of bed it's very tempting to wake up at like 9 a.m. right when your meetings are gonna start and then grab your laptop and take them from bed don't do that wake up early go eat some breakfast change your clothes shower get ready first like you're gonna go out of the house don't try to work right when you wake up. It's really, really tough to do that. You wanna get up and start your day. I would even go a step farther and try to make it a point to do something more fun in the morning. So for me personally, I enjoy reading. So in the morning I get a book and I just read for a little bit or work on something non-work related. It just gets your mind moving. You get something done in the morning besides work. And when you start your work or college work, whatever you might be doing, you've already gotten something done and you kind of had the momentum to keep moving forward after that. Now tip number two is to have a special area in your house dedicated for work. As I mentioned before, I don't suggest working on your bed because you want to associate your bed with rest and relaxing. The second you start working from there, it's really going to make you feel all weird at night when you're going to go to sleep because your laptop and work stuff will be all around you. You don't want to use that environment for work related things. If you have a desk, I strongly suggest having a desk dedicated for your work away from your normal bed and bedroom. And again, going along this, I also suggest having a separate area for doing non-work related things. And the reason why this is a huge important point is because your mind associates your environment with the work you're doing. So if you start going on YouTube and just chilling at your desk, you're not gonna get as much work done because your mind will feel like it's okay to do those distracting things when you're at your work desk. If you have a smaller apartment or a studio even or a dorm, you can still do this. Work at your desk and then do your non-work related things on your bed, your sofa, whatever you have available to you. Now tip number three is how to deal with distractions. Working at home, you're gonna get distractions and you have to know how to handle those. If you like using your phone a lot throughout your day, I strongly suggest turning on the do not disturb mode or even better, turn the phone off completely and put it somewhere else in your house. It'll make a big difference so you don't check your phone every 10 seconds for Instagram or Twitter or whatever you might be using. Just get rid of your phone, that's a huge distraction, so don't even have it near you. With that being said, also give yourself plenty of breaks. I like to work in sprints of 60 to 90 minutes and then I force myself to take a break. You wanna make sure you have that recovery period in your mind so you don't just keep working nonstop. We are not designed to work all day, eight hours straight. You can do that, but you're gonna feel fatigued, you're gonna feel tired. Get yourself up every hour or so and take a break. And in the afternoon especially, we all feel that afternoon slump almost where you kind of feel your energy going down the drain. I definitely suggest going outside if you can and take a long break. So during your lunch hour, don't just sit inside if you have to. Go outside, go for a walk, do whatever you can, get your body moving. If you wanna get that afternoon slump out of your system, you gotta move and take a break. Don't just force yourself to work through that. It's gonna be better if you stop working, get out, do something productive, and then come back and go back to your work after that. It really helps your mind get that recovery it needs. And my last tip, and I think this is really helpful, especially right now, is make plans for the evening. And I know in this particular moment, we're not able to go out and socialize with other people in person, but you can still make plans at night. And there's a few things that this will cause you to do. One, it'll make sure you stay in touch with all your friends. So do a FaceTime or a Hangout, do something online where you can socialize with other people. But what it'll also do is you have a time. 
So if you schedule a time to hang out with your friends at night at eight o'clock, it'll force you to get work done prior to eight o'clock. There's actually a study out there that says if you don't have that, it'll just make you fill the entire day with work and prolong all these things. You'll work more efficiently if you put a time at the end of the day where you have to do something else. It'll make sure you get your work done prior to that time. So don't be afraid to schedule things at night, put a time on it and stick to it. And if you don't wanna schedule a hangout with your friends every single night, then you don't have to do that. There's other things you can do as well. This is a great time to do at home projects and set goals for yourself. So one project that I'm working on right now is to completely clean out my closet, get my clothes ready for donation and things like that. So this is a great time to do that. Actually make it like a project, put dates on it, put milestones on it. So you wanna accomplish certain things by certain dates. That way you'll force yourself to have something on the side that you can do that'll be beneficial for yourself and something that's not work related as well. So yeah, those are my tips and tricks for working at home. Later this week, I'll be making a video about etiquette and tips for taking video meetings at home. So video conferencing etiquette. Keep a lookout for that later this week. And if you have any suggestions for future work from home videos, send them my way. I'd be more than happy to make a video about that. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.